Today on Freestyle, we turn a living room into an art gallery, pare down to the bare essentials in Los Angeles, and make this New Yorker's workspace work. Hey, I'm your designer, Aaron Foster, and this is Freestyle. First up in St. Paul, two art students hope we can turn their drab digs into a work of art. And of course, we're gonna do it without spending any money at all. The artwork in this apartment passes with flying colors, but the design just isn't making the grade. Hi, I'm Kaya. Hi, I'm Anne Marie. And we go to College of Visual Arts in St. Paul. And this is our apartment. And we just moved in about a year ago, and we haven't really gotten a chance to finish what we started. This is our stereo, it just sits on the floor. And this is our dining room, but we really use it for all of our artwork. Well, I think I just want something that shows how fun and artistic we are. <laughs> we are, I guess. Hello. Hi. This is uh, an interesting setup you guys have in your apartment. <laughs> Thanks. Is it working out for you? Not really. Not really at all. It's kind of a narrow little hallway there yeah. to get back into the rest of the place. Now tell me about this. This is not finished, right? No, we started it uh, when we first moved in, but then school started and okay. we didn't finish it. It's supposed so, to kind of have these lines yeah. designs on it. Okay. Well, I think that's great that you guys both work on something together and have a nice sort of permanent piece of art in your home. Okay, so whose computer is this? This is mine. And it gets used or doesn't get used? It doesn't really get used that much. What's going on with this angle thing here? <laughs> well, it's angled towards the TV, so we kind of... Is the TV movable? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, closet door, college students, always a risk. Are we safe to go in here? We should be. Yeah. Okay. Let's Careful. see if we can find anything that we can use in here. Director's chairs. Mm hmm Okay. There's three of them? Yeah. Well, we thought they'd go really great in here, but we just really didn't know where to put them. Well, they would go really great in here if they weren't in the closet. <laughs> so, stereo on the floor. Best place we could find. Right, Most well, out of the way place. Yeah. Let's get it out of here. Let's get it up off the floor. And while we're at it, you know, we might do something else in here too, just to kind of clean it up and make it a little more functional for you. So there's all this art here that's sitting on the floor. What's going on with that? We haven't really got around to putting it up. We just don't know where to place things. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm kind of sensing a theme here where you've got the mural that you guys started, which I think is going to turn out great. You guys are art students, and I think it's important to sort of, you know, have your house reflect, you know, who you are and who you're studying to be. So I want to get that up on the walls. There's plenty of color already, but it's going to add a little bit more sort of of your own personality to the place. All right? Okay. Sounds good. Okay, here's the game plan for today. Kai and Anne-Marie have a really great apartment that's bursting with color already. It's a good place for us to be able to start from. Just needs to flow a little bit better, be a little more inviting for when they have guests. Here's what we're gonna do. First of all, the girls have gotta finish this mural. It's gonna be a really great focal point for the room when it's done. The computer table is out of here, two sofas are gonna get moved to opposite walls, and this black rug sucks all the color out of the room. It's gone too. Finally, we're gonna hang all the artwork up on the walls. It's gonna bring a much more personal feeling to the room. I'm ready to get to work. It's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna go look for the girls. I'm ready for you guys to get your paintbrushes, get to work on the mural, but before that, we gotta get everything cleared out of here. Can you help me out? Sure, sure. Okay. So you have about eight or ten different paintings here, and we're gonna take them all out, but we're gonna bring some back in to put on the walls. Do you guys have favorites? I love this one because of the dancers. <laughs> this one's my favorite. <laughs> This is my favorite painting that the girls have. I'm really glad that they like it too, because I want to be sure to save some room to get it up on the wall. That kind of reminds me of my own dance studio. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Is it going to stay now? <laughs> it's looking good, you guys. We're going to start bringing some furniture in. Hopefully that's okay. okay. Let's yeah. put this up against the wall here under the window. So the mural's done. No, we're just taking a break. <laughs> okay, all right, well we'll come back to that in a second. This is your spice rack, which is now your new home for your stereo. How am I doing? Fabulous. All right, I don't know, I don't wanna mess anything up. I know you guys got a plan here. It's looking good. I'm gonna start bringing in the rest of the furniture. Okay, that's one. Plus one. Plus one. 
makes one. Nice. By trading a large dark rug for three smaller bright ones, we create one large colorful space. Hey guys, bring the couch in. What do you think? It already looks better. I love it. <laughs> okay. You guys had some kind of crazy angles going on here, and we're just doing something real simple, squaring off the room, and it's just going to open it up and give you a lot more space. It looks better already. All right. Okay, so bring in the coffee table, and I think that for right now, we're just going to center it right in between the couches. That way, whichever one you're sitting on, you can just slide it over real easy, a couple inches either way, and it'll be functional for both. Where do these go? I don't know, I think it'd look good with maybe one right there. Okay. And then... And there's two of them. On that side, but I think that'd get in the doorway over there. Okay, well that's actually the exact same plot that I had, but we're just going to slide the couches a little bit so it's all squared off, okay. but also off center. Okay, so that's going to go over there. Okay. We're slide the couch a little bit this way. And then we're going to square this up and slide that couch a little bit that way. So we're not quite done yet, but I, I'm kind of feeling like I need a break. You guys want to have a seat? You know, I feel like three chairs might be too many for the space. I think let's just try two. Very cool. Coming up, Kaya and Anne Marie's favorite paintings get a showing. And simplifying this couple's cluttered style. So these are some of the paintings that we picked out that we really liked that we wanted to hang up on the wall. I think that these two with the sort of purple and blues are going to go really well here in the corner. This piece is going to go up with the TV. <laughs> well, not. almost. And I double checked in your room and there's a lot of room in there and I'd love to help you hang that in your room. I, it's a great piece. I just think it doesn't quite go <laughs> with the color palette we're going for in here. Is that alright? That's okay. Okay. So I really like the way this looks here but I think that the wall is wide enough and the picture is a little bit narrow so we I want to find something to kind of balance it out, something to put on each side to sort of even out the space. So I'm going to go kind of snooping in the other rooms. Is that okay? That's fine. That's fine. I don't know what I want to find, but we'll see. <laughs> I think these two little shelves are going to be perfect to go on each side of the portrait we hung above the TV. Hopefully Kaya won't miss them. These two sconces that I found in Kaya's room are going to balance out this wall with the artwork on them. So we're getting pretty close. We have all the big pieces in place, and I'm wondering if it's a good time to check in with you guys. Do you think you're getting what you want out of the room? Definitely. I think it works a lot better. It's more open and flows better, and plus our mural's finished. Beautiful. Perfect. So we're standing in what is technically your dining room, but it's the room that you guys used for all your art projects, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so before you had this big table, and it was really kind of overwhelmed the room. So while you guys were working on the mural, I took the leaf out of that, we brought this in from your room, and I wanted to create two separate workstations for you guys, and I hope that it's functional. Yeah, it seems yeah. a lot more practical. I really like it a lot. When we started this morning, the problem was two artists with no art on the walls in a living area that had no flow and didn't function well for entertaining. Our solution was actually pretty simple. We split the couches apart to open up the space, added the director's chairs for more seating, and we hung the art. The dark coffee table disappeared on the dark rug, so we took it out and brought in the bright rugs that make the coffee table pop. By using a spice rack I found in their kitchen, I made it a lot easier for Kaya and Anne-Marie to use their stereo. One of the most important things we did today was we got the girls to finish the mural they started over a year ago. Because it was designed and painted by them, it's going to make anyone who comes over here feel like they're at Kaya and Anne Marie's home. Well, I think my work here is done. I think we'll definitely be able to get more work done in our dining room. It's a lot more functional. And we each have kind of our own space. Yeah, so now the dining room is really the art studio, not the apartment being the art studio. <laughs> Well, after you guys leave, I guess we're just going to sit back and enjoy our newly designed room. Yeah. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, Erin. You're awesome. We, we love, love you. you. <laughs> Up next, Becky and Danny have a beautiful home in Los Angeles. But you'd never know it. We'll help them rediscover their living room without spending any money.
Becky and Danny are celebrating their one year wedding anniversary. And while their marriage is going strong, their decor is in some desperate need of counseling. Hi, I'm Becky. And I'm Danny. And this is our living room. Our very crowded living room. We got married a year ago. Today's our anniversary. Happy anniversary. You too. And um, we're just looking for a, a way to make this room work for us. This is our enormous, enormous TV stand that also seconds as a mantle. Ooh, it's kind of dirty. The one main problem also with this room is that, as you can see, there's only two ways in. Through here. And through here. Hi, Kahi. Hi, Becky and Danny. Hi. Happy anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for letting me come over on your big day. Thank you for coming. Becky and Danny have a great living room. The architectural details are great. They've got lots of cute stuff. They just have way too much of it. We're going to apply the less is more philosophy to this room. We're going to demusify. We're going to move the sofa so that you can get in and out of this room and hopefully we'll get rid of this big TV cabinet. I'm sorry, Mr. Moose, but you gotta go. I want to talk to you about this piece here. If we can find something else to replace it. Can we get rid of it? Please do. Get rid of it. Um, Don't look so sure. <laughs> I'm just worried about what we're, what we're gonna put the TV on. We could definitely find something smaller okay. than this that your TV can live on. That's really gross. Wifing is not one of my best skills. <laughs> it really is. But I knew it coming in. Okay, be careful with that. Now that's a wedding present. Careful, guys. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> You've been good. Real good. General decorating rule is um, inflatable plastic mousse. Usually not good decoration. Look at how beautiful this room is. We're gonna bring, start bringing in some of your stuff. So we put the sofa over here against this wall, which really opens up this space. Well guys, I saw some things in the other parts of your house that I think we can use in here. Do you mind if I go look around and grab some of those things? Not Go ahead. Oh. Okay. Okay guys, we're going to take the TV stand out of your guest room. Look at that. I'm also going to grab these rugs for the living room. Sweet. This is a much smaller table and look how perfectly it fits in the corner. Up next, will Kahi find a perfect fit for the rest of Becky and Danny's things? Plus, mastering the art of this home office. First right there, I might stick it back over here. I think I it's, I like it open there. So. Yeah, that's, I agree. Yeah, so let's put it back, let's put it here, we're gonna put it here. Okay guys, here's your box of photos. You're gonna go through these and 50% are gonna go on in the room, 50% are gonna go into storage. Since your fireplace is not a functional fireplace, here's a tip for you. You can fill it with candles so you have the look of a fire, and it's quite romantic. So what do you guys think of the room? Kahi, I love it. It's killer. It's absolutely, it's beautiful. It's hard to believe that it's a...